everybody and welcome to another great episode of Let's Chat with Courtney Hall. I have a special guest and I say special all the time, but he really is a special <laughs> guest in the studio with me, Mr. Kenny Summers. What's up? What's How you up? doing? How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. How are you feeling? I'm doing good. I'm doing fine. Okay. Okay. Now listen, you have a movie coming out. I'm in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Help. Help. Tell us about it. Well, this movie, uh, I wrote this movie a couple months back, like five or six months back. Uh, I was just in a state of like um, going through something, you know, I, I was feeling um, kind of depressed, you know what I'm saying? I felt like I wanted to express my, uh, just my depression through something other than music, you know? So um, I started writing this film and then um, after that, you know, I called up my boy, uh, Anthony. We did a film a while back. We did uh, Sacrifices, The Price of Fame. Mm. I was in his film and uh, called him up and um, got him to help me co-write it. And then um, we did auditions in, like, November. And then after that, you know, we just started piecing everything together and, like, wow. got it done. And wow. That's so, how that came across. So how, what is the movie about? Um, well, it's about a, a character, a um, sociopathic guy mm -hmm. that uh, builds these relationships with these different girls. But um, he's a manipulator, so mm -hmm. he's bringing all these girls down. He's uh, molesting his cousin. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a therapist that he ends up, you know, messing her head up. Mm -hmm. Some things happen between them and... Uh, it's just real crazy, man. Y'all got to tune in. Wow, man. definitely got to tune yeah. in to it. Okay, so you said that you did audition. So how crazy was that? Was it easy? Was it, it I mean, it, it, it was hard just for the simple fact trying to narrow, uh, narrow it down and find the right people to mm -hmm. play the role. So, I mean... It was hard on that uh, on that end, but I mean, when we started putting everything together, I mean, it started flowing, and I mean, everybody is dope. Everybody a part of this is dope. So, hey, yeah. well, shooting help. It was really good for me. I had a really great time. But you, as the writer, you were mm -hmm. an actor as well. Mm -hmm. How was it for you? Oh. Uh, Acting, is it difficult? acting and, and directing and writing, I mean, it's hard trying mm -hmm. to do everything at once. But, I mean, when I started to get the flow of it and I started to build the chemistry with the, all my other uh, cast members, I mean, it just started just started coming together easily i mean so was it is this something that like you want to do or um, was it just like a passion project i think i just wanted to really um experiment just to see how how this goes because you know i do have music and stuff that i'm working on right now so you know i had a little free time and i just wanted to just, just to see how time. yeah <laughs> just to see how it went and i mean it went smooth like it, it, it really went better than what i thought it was gonna gonna be so, so when can we expect to see help? I think around probably March. Okay. Probably a little bit before South by Southwest around okay. that time. Yeah. So are you gonna premiere it in a theater? I'm gonna premiere or? it in like two theaters. Ooh. Um yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do it big. We're nice. Do it big. Now speaking yeah. of music, you're an artist first, right? Yeah. Okay, talk about that. Talk about your well, music. I mean, uh, as far as music, I mean, that's my that's my number one passion at that. I mean, that's over everything. So, um, I mean, pretty much right now, you know, I got uh, my project that I'm working on right now. I'm looking to drop that in, like, March, too. So, mm -hmm. you know, I got that, working on that. And, um, I mean, it's going to be dope, man. My single, Inside, dropped this week on all streaming uh, platforms. Nice, so that's nice. Gonna, that's going to be a good one right there. So. Okay, yeah. okay. So what made you want to do music? To do music? I mean... I really been um I've been into music my whole life as far as like just growing up like around my uh, my parents had me in the church I've been around music mm -hmm. in the church um just like uh, instrument wise you know I started off playing the um, piano and stuff so like as I got older I want to say around like 13 like I started actually um you know getting like in the studio and started getting hands on with like engineering and stuff and then I just started putting my voice over the songs and I'm like man I kind of like this and I just kept on going with the uh, with rapping and stuff like that. And then I think when I turned about 15 is when I took it, like mm. really took it serious and started. So really. what's your goal with, with music? Like, what are you trying to do? What's your end goal? Um, Really my goal, like my whole uh, thing about the music thing, like I feel like um, when I make music, I feel like I can touch people that I can, that I can't touch just by talking to them, you know? And when I put it, it's like when I put it in music, it's like I, I can, just get just grasp them better than I can just talking to them mm. so that's really my whole goal with music is just to touch as many people as I can with my message and things that I talk about that's awesome yeah. now I do have a question yeah what's is up? Kenny Summers your real name nah Kenny Summers is not my real okay. name I'm gonna go ahead and tell the whole world oh, right exclusive. now exclusive <laughs> let's chat my real name exclusive. is is Brian Keith Brown oh that's so, a cute name 
Yeah, so I like Kenny Summers too. But like Kenny Summers kind of came like uh, kind of came by surprise, like uh, through Google. Mm. Like I was just chilling one day and um, just typing in some stuff, and I pieced that. To, I don't know how. I really don't. To this day, I don't know how I pieced that wow. together. But it, it came together cool. Wow. And everybody say it fit me, so shit. I just kept on rolling with it. So what's the difference between Kenny Summers? Kenny and Summers. Brian? All right. So Brian is more of a. Um, I feel like. Brian is more of the guy that's going to give you the, the, the movies, like, help and give you stuff like that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? As far as, like, um, as far as, like, talking about depression and just talking about stuff that really happened in my life. And mm-hmm. Kenny Summers, I feel like he more of, like, the fun type of guy. He the nigga that's going to have fun and yeah. go, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the which, who you see in the videos, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When you see my other side and my business side behind music, that's, that's who Brian is. So let's say somebody came to you and it's a really, you know, respectable person in Mm -hmm. the industry Mm -hmm. and they offered you a record deal Mm -hmm. and a contract to do five major movies. Five major. I mean, which one would you pick? It's all depending on how the money is. (laughs) Money good. I'm I'm rolling with it. Yeah. You feel me? So that money good. I'm I'm down. Okay. So it just doesn't matter which. Yeah, it don't matter. Whatever, whatever the money. Okay. Because I feel like with the money, I mean, as soon as I get the money in my hand, I can make anything work. That is true. Money, like, long as the money, right? Okay. Okay. So for all the ladies out there, because you know February is coming up. (laughs) Well, it's already here. Pretty good. Um, and, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. Mm-hmm. Are you single? Are you in a relationship? Oh, yeah. I'm single. Ooh. I ain't talking to nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm focused on my music, but if somebody want to come, you know what I'm saying, and make it worth my time, then, yeah. hey, it is what it is. Oh. I'm, I'm open. Well, you heard that. So where can we follow you? Um, uh, you can follow me at, uh, at Kenny Summers. Uh, that's Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Okay. All my um, social medias is the same. Okay, okay. Now, do you have any shows coming up? or uh, Shows, kinda... shows. Do I, I don't have any shows currently, but I will be uh, performing South by Southwest March. So starting March on down, I'm going to be book, 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 book. I just was focused on really just getting the, the movie done mm-hmm. and all that stuff and getting my project done. So... After March, I mean, I'll be I'll be on back on the road. Okay, now back on the help. Mm-hmm. What? How did that relate to your life? Because I relate? know there's a lot of stuff going on in the movie. So how does that relate to I, your? I life? think with help, or does um, it relate? To it, it does. It does relate to my life. Like, um, I feel like sometimes, like you can be the person to um, to just help people and just be there for somebody and. The more you help people, the more they forget that, like, you human and you have problems, too, just like everybody else. And I feel like uh, the character Natasha in this movie, you know, she was so caught up on helping everybody and being there for everybody. A lot of people just didn't realize that, damn, she got problems just like everybody else. And then that led up to her doing something in the movie that just, you know, shocked everybody. Gotta see the movie. Yeah, you gotta see the movie. I don't want to spoil it. But, yeah, it just, that's how I feel like it relates to my life. Because I feel like a lot of times, like, I'm always there for people and helping people but a lot of times they don't you know what i'm saying take the initiative to call me and say you know what's going on you all right how you mm-hmm. feeling you know mm-hmm. so that's how i came across the natasha character i kind of okay. based it on myself pretty much i play natasha guys <laughs> <laughs> go check out the movie whenever it comes out tell me again when to expect it um you can expect it around march okay. um we'll be in theaters uh, in the houston area so you know, tickets will be on pre-sale, so make sure you check out. Go like the uh, Help the Movie page on Facebook. It's uh, Help the Movie, and uh, you can go on Instagram and like it too. Help the Movie on Instagram. So you know, follow that for all updates on everything. That's right. Now, with you being an artist, you being a writer, you know, it's always good to to give back mm-hmm. and inspire people that want to do what you do, especially mm-hmm. young kids. Mm-hmm. Now, do you ever go back to your high school or um, try to, you know, help yeah, out young I, I, kids? Yeah, I do that a lot. Uh, a lot of kids from, from my area, they look up to me and stuff. So I, I always try to give the younger kids advice, especially when I see them around. Like, I, uh, I also have a studio in, uh, where I'm from, too. So I, I, a lot of times I like to, you know, let them get in the studio, express themselves, you know, because it's always better to do something productive with your time than being in the streets and mm-hmm. doing other stuff that can get you in trouble and, or get you killed, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So um, I, I like to try to give back because, like, I, I'm not selfish with my with my, with my my um, my art. I like to give it back and 
see somebody else in my position too. You know so why do you think that artists here in Houston think they have to be segregated and oh um, I need to get mine before I Because it's a else. it's a pride thing. You mm. know, um you know, you go to Atlanta, you go to these other different cities, you know, you got these people in the because it, it's all about the money, you mm. know what I'm saying? They gonna do whatever they gotta do to get the money. A lot of people they don't think about the money, they think about themselves mm. and that's why they, they stuck in the position they, they are. Yeah, because I mean, I would think, okay, if I help you, you mm. know, you could give me a little something off exactly. of what you make, and exactly. then we both make it. And money. that's how a real business person is gonna think. But a lot of people don't think about the business; they just think about themselves, and that's you know, that's destroying your brand and what you got going on. So does that make you say, okay, you know what? I can't be in Houston. I need to move away. Or is I it mean, like- I'm gonna always show love. I'm gonna show love to the people that wanna that wanna help me and wanna see me succeed. You know, I'm gonna show that same love back. But at the same time, I'm gonna go to where I'm where they're in and me and where they're gonna help me grow you mm. know what I'm saying I feel like if you're not helping me grow I'm not gonna sit there and keep on trying to force something mm. that's not that's not happening so a lot of times like I just remove myself from the situation but I'm just not gonna be on those stuck up stuff to where I'm just not gonna work with nobody right. from my area right yeah so what's next for you what can we um, expect well like I said you can expect to help the movie you can expect my project I'm gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of visuals coming like a lot um, any features uh, features a little a little bit I don't want to really spoil it too much because okay. I'm trying ah. to keep everything confidential with mm-hmm. the tape because I'm just gonna just come with it mm-hmm. it's gonna come mm-hmm. by surprise mm-hmm. so yeah I do got some dope features on, on, on the uh, project and um, yeah we just gonna keep coming and we just going up all of 2018 Supreme 19 we going up nice okay so, tell the people again how they can find you um, you can find me at Kenny Summers uh, on all social media also um, subscribe to my YouTube channel where I will be posting a lot of visuals uh, from, from this upcoming project that's Kenny Summers also and um, yeah I want to say this before we close out mm-hmm. if you had to say something to your younger self or mm-hmm. even kids, younger kids, what mm-hmm. would that be? <clears throat> I would say, if I'm looking at my younger self, I would say, um, don't worry about what nobody think about you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times when you worry about what people think, you lose path on what you really want. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And part of being successful is just knowing what you want and going to accomplish that that goal, you know? So mm-hmm. I would say just, um, if you got a goal and you got something that you want to achieve, go for it. It don't matter what nobody got to say about it. Because if you know deep down in your heart that that's what you want to do, mm-hmm. like you can achieve it. That's real. Mm-hmm. That's real. <laughs> okay, well, you definitely have to come back whenever oh, the yeah. movie comes out, whenever yeah. your music comes out. You got to yeah. come back and talk you gotta, about you it. You got to um, go ahead and bring this to the premiere. Yes, the premiere. for sure. Yes, yeah. I will. Okay, yeah. so once again, tell people where they can find you. Um, at Kenny Summers. At K-I-N-N-Y-S-U-M-M-E-R-S. Um, Instagram, Twitter, um, YouTube. uh, Everywhere. Everywhere. (laughs) Well, thank y'all so much for watching another great episode of Let's Chat with Courtney. And thank you, Kenny, for coming out. I appreciate you for having me. No problem, no problem. All righty, stay tuned for another great episode. Girl, got your feelings one part of the deal So shawty, I'm just keeping it real Why you on my line, line, line Asking all them questions like you're mine, mine, mine And I'm yours, baby, I don't understand It's the Taylor command You knew I want your man I thought we was friends So why you on my line, line, line Asking all them questions like you're mine, mine, mine And I'm yours, baby, I don't Understand, it's the chain of command. You knew I want your man. I thought we was friends. Yeah, yeah. I kept it real from the go. Can't tell me you didn't know. Yeah, said you.